Oh, she's no, 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 dude, no, no, stop, stop, stop. Oh, oh. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching Final Destination Five. We have made it to the fifth movie now. This is the last movie that is out right now. This they are making a sixth one, but it, it's just not out yet. I thought it was out in the last video. Well, actually, no, I didn't. I said five, the final one five, right? And then I put an edit on the screen being like, well, no, five and six, but I, it's because I didn't know six wasn't out yet. So it's not out yet. So. But when it does come out, we will definitely be getting to it. But I'm very excited for this movie. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next franchise that I do will also be available on Patreon and YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. Not yet. Look. You just need to make a decision. You know, are you gonna be chef? Or are you gonna Okay, he looks like Tom Cruise, but he doesn't look like Tom Cruise at all. It's like this weird mix where he looks like Tom Cruise just enough, but not at all. Hold on, man, I'll be right back. That guy looks like Anthony Padilla from Smosh. My brother's wedding. We should talk about this later. Let's just- what? And No, and pretend like I didn't see this for the next two days? No, let's, let's talk about this now. It's not working out, Sam. Ooh. We're not working out. Damn. He just lost his girl. Like a minute into the movie, he already lost his girl. Look at me. Hey, if you ever need anyone to talk to, I've been told like I'm a really, really good listener by a lot of ladies. Shh, wait, don't say anything. Tell me it's the camera. <laughs> what? You should apologize. Why? Doesn't matter. He talks just like Tom Cruise, too. He's like the same cadence. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> no, it's not. They want to send me to the flagship restaurant in Paris. For who knows how hmm she probably take that just thought i'd be leaving too much behind yeah your girl already left you dog you're chilling you can go now honestly though going to paris to work doesn't sound too bad it sounds pretty nice mm. oh, what are those for it's just something i do to relax me and for luck she's superstitious yeah no hang on a sec babe just gonna head on back to my private office <laughs> Fucking guy, dude. Mm, throwback. Oh my god, there's just a hole right there. <laughs> oh, dude, John Denver? That was only a thing in the first movie. Kind of bummed they didn't continue that. Well, happy they have it back now. Something's wrong. Ooh. Structural integrity of the bridge. It just gave out. Molly, come on! I like how he grabbed Molly, though. Oh, my Candace! God. Candace! Yeah! Oh, Candace, why would you do that? No, Candace! Oh, RIP, Candace. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, imagine being this guy. You come out of the bathroom and just... Oh, oh no, water. The impact of the water is just gonna kill him. Oh, he died immediately. Over here! Let's get the railing! What a... Oh, and he fell anyway. I was gonna say, what a leap. Oh, you gotta climb across that rail, dog. You have no, dude, you just gotta go. You have no choice. I know it's so scary though. Grab the rail at least, like. Okay. Bro, pull some Mission, Mission Impossible shit out. Come on. For some reason, I feel like spider Man is just gonna come out of nowhere and save everyone. It just, it just feels like that's about to happen. Oh, she, she survived the fall. Nah, she's gonna get run over by a boat. <gasps> oh. Imagine if, oh, <laughs> fuck. Imagine if like a Spider-Man movie opened up like this. You know, like people are actually dying like this badly and then he comes in and saves, that'd be fucked. Oh. 
Dude, okay, this, I think this is like the best opening scene, to be honest. But so, this isn't the first one. <gasps> oh, but that Mission Impossible shit. He is Tom Cruise. He probably actually did that stunt too, just to be more like Tom Cruise. <laughs> this one and the first one definitely have the best opening scene, for sure. <laughs> Tom. Oh, splat. Oh. Alright, well, CGI hasn't gotten much better since the fourth one, so. I will say, like, the digital camera quality does look better, but the special effects, nah, like, not really. <laughs> Wait, you know, Molly didn't die though. Molly didn't die in the premonition. Hmm, interesting. All right, it's gonna be useful later. How did you know? That sounds premeditated to me. No, 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 that's, that's not what I meant. There's an answer for everything, which means there's an answer for why you knew to warn everyone the bridge was going to collapse. And minutes later, it did. Yeah, it just seems like a fucking terrorist attack. Came out of nowhere. Did Sam have issues with authority? Did he ever demonstrate any sort of... Okay, this guy's already putting in more effort to figure out more about Sam than the other FBI agents in the first movie did about Alex. I have a feeling we'll be seeing each other again. Call it a hunch. I hold him up. I try calling. What do you care? Sam, there had to be a reason. <laughs> that is exactly what the agent... It's because God told me to get off. But the people that left us on the bridge that day... They were more than that. They were employees. People like Jennifer Alcott. Was employee of the month. Did he just say my name? <laughs> Jesus. Death. Oh. It's Mobius. Doesn't like to be cheated. You know, he looks like Dave Franco, too. You know, he looks like, yeah, he's a mix of Dave Franco and Tom Cruise. Thanks for the advice. Creepy guy. He's like Tom Cruise, but with Dave Franco's eyebrows. I thought you'd be working tonight. Yeah, you know, I worked the first shift, but there's something else I needed to do. I need to get you back. The only thing I thought about was you. Mm-hmm, yeah, because you, you went after her first. You are the only thing I care about, Molly. So you're not going to perish then, I take it. I can fix it. You I haven't can... done anything wrong. What? what? What is it? There's someone else. She found Paris. The... Oh. We talked for that job. But it's the only thing you've ever dreamed of. Yeah, she doesn't want... She doesn't want to be the reason he's held back. You have to go after what you love. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's in a tough position. Like, obviously, he's in love with her, and he doesn't want to leave her. But it's like... Dog, if it's a huge, huge opportunity for your career, then I think you should take it. But obviously, it's not an easy decision because he loves her and doesn't want to leave her. Oh my god. Dude, some shit. Oh no. No, 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 no. That shit's gonna break as they're doing some crazy gymnastics thing. And then they're. Oh no, I can just see it now, dude. Their arms just gonna snap in half. Oh, their bones just gonna snap in half out of their skin. Oh no. Dude, if something like that happens, I will not be able to watch. Dude, I, I will freak out if something like that happens. I can't watch shit like that. Come on, Candace. You're up. Yeah, she was the first to die in the premonition, so... Mm. Come on, Candace. You got this. No, 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 no. This is gonna be, this is gonna be brutal, dude. I already know it. <laughs> oh, and her thing for good luck broke. Of course, the water. It's always the water, dude. <laughs> oh, she's so stupid from that. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. I can kind of see in the reflection of the blackboard right there. So, like, that's, that's literally what I'm looking at. <laughs> That shit's gonna snap, dude. Go hard this time, Candace. I don't know. Her spine's gonna come out of her back or something, dude. 
Something it's just something insanely brutal. Or both her tibias are gonna pop out. I don't know. She's gonna be turned into like a pretzel or something. Uh, Looking good, Candace. The tension, the tension building in the scene is really good, though. Damn. This is like you know they're gonna step on this nail. You just don't know when they're gonna do it. Like. Ah! Oh fuck! That was it. Ah oh, fuck! Fuck. All the shock in her face now. Oh, I, dude, I didn't even see that. No, no, I'm. Oh. Oh. Don't touch me. <gasps> no, dude. As soon as I saw her leave the bar, no. There's no way. There's no way I'm watching that. I heard it, but I'm not watching that. It was even her that stepped on the nail? It was her teammate. Well, look. So, and then she knocked over the chalk. Chalk went in the fan and got in her face, and yeah. Why, why did it happen? This doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Oh, he's here. Holy crap, did you guys get your bereavement pay yet? No, is it a, is it a bag? Is it crazy shit those gymnasts do? I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> but gymnasts typically are also really good at bailing. But like still regardless. I, I'm sure gymnasts get hurt like all the time though. Like they just land weird on their ankle, boom, snaps, broken. And like their tibia just splits out of their leg or something. Like I would not be shocked. If that's a pretty common thing. Don't you just don't hear about it. Got something better. Ooh, nice one. Yeah, count me in. Count me in. Amber, Amber, I'm sorry, wait a second. Is that weird sound on your end or my Wow. Sorry about that. Tell me about stress relief. Oh, God. And what is erotic massage? No, bro, not like that. Not no happy endings. Family operation. Everyone on staff is professional. Hey, that's great. Mm -hmm. I prefer a professional pack. You know what? No happy endings here. I'm gonna clarify though that this professional experience ends uh, happy. I know exactly what you need. Oh, I'm sure you do. It's gonna be like a really old lady or something. Uh, Don't know what that means. No idea. Yeah. Ah! Oh, she just fuck around. Ah! Ooh! Sign right on her. All right. She's after the dude getting a massage right now, so. I should have done something. I, I should have. Peter, there wasn't anything you could have done. How do you know? Oh. Bro, it's not like you knew that was gonna happen. Like. Yeah, uh, Peter just freaked out about something. I don't know what. Ooh. Uh, should we maybe have code names no. for one another, do you think? <laughs> Taking this way too seriously. Roll off and fall on his stomach, and all it's all just gonna get like. That's not very oh, nice, you know. It's gonna vibrate, move the candle or something. Can's gonna fall and place in a line of fire. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! oh, and he's gonna line of fire. Ah. Didn't, that wouldn't kill him just falling on him, just break him, whatever. But it would definitely hurt, but yeah, he's gonna get lit on fire on top of that. It's pretty deep. Oh. That's really deep. Oh my god. <gasps> and that candle's gonna fall on him. <gasps> oh. oh shit. Oh shit. Ah! Oh. Oh. Ah! oh! But the Buddha got him. Shit. You should come with me. Go with you? I mean, yeah, fuck it. You're still gonna die, but... Like, well, actually, she's not, but you won't. Molly, I'm serious. If I don't take the job, I'll regret it. But if I lose you, I'll but regret it. But I'm not it. willing to lose you. <laughs> yeah. Bro, can you financially support the both of you in Paris? Like, that's that's the real concern. If you can, then I say go for it, but... If you can't, well, then not. She could get a job out there, too, but... You know what I mean. Why are you following us? He's not. He just works for the morgues, collecting the bodies. What are you doing? I do. He's there early, you know. He was at the gym early. You change things on that bridge. Tom Cruise, I swear to God. I'll wrinkle the realm of the living all the days and mm -hmm. years. Of the and they take your place in death. The books are balanced. Wait a minute. We kill someone. We get their life? Yeah. I just clean up after the game. That's cool. It's over. Because, I mean, if, this all, if every movie took place in, a, in the same city, 
then eventually they would they would know about every single movie prior. You survived. You saved her. What else is it then? Yeah, Tom Cruise is gonna go crazy and just start killing people. Yep, that's the first step. Yeah. You'll never need. Yeah, she's getting LASIK. Oh, so many ways this can go wrong. Perfect. Just what we want. No, she's stuck in place. It's gonna burn right through her eye. Okay, now comes the fun part. Comes the drop. Dude, I can't. I can't even do eye drops, dude. There's no way I'm doing LASIK ever in my life if I ever needed it. Just relax, Olivia. I'm just gonna enter some data into. Shouldn't you have done this before? <laughs> this data before? Done. Do you know what? My assistant's giving me an incomplete file. I'll be right back. Shouldn't you have done, you should have double checked this before you put that shit in my eye and now my head's stuck in here. Oh my God, incompetent doctor. It's prerequisite now. Okay, she ripped that shit out of her. Is her eye out? Oh. No, 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 she's fine. We do this kind of procedure all the time. You know, I'd be pissed as a doctor for leaving with my eye like that wide open. Like, you know, drier eye would get and then just, uh, it would bother me so much than not being able to blink. Oh! Oh! Um, R.I.P. Olivia. Ah, in her eye. Whenever I go to the orthodontist for like, get my braces like checked up or whatever, like they'll have they'll like use the things to open my mouth. They'll put all the cotton in my mouth, which just makes me fucking cringe just thinking about it. And then they'll be like, and then they'll be like, you know what? I'll be right back. I gotta grab something. I'm like motherfucker. <laughs> and I gotta sit there for like five minutes with like my like mouth wide open with cotton in it, with which I don't know, just makes me like cringe. The doctor had my eye forced open like that, and then left the room. I'd be pissed. <laughs> Dude, if Roy doesn't die with him, I'm gonna be so pissed. My bookie ain't operating at 50%. My dumbass kid ain't operating at 50%. I'm gonna do. No, no, we gotta move, man. Hey, I'm not going in. No, we gotta move. Hey. Get Roy, get Roy. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Roy, you okay down there? No, he got it. He got his chin. He got Oh, my God. Ah. Roy just died instead of him, so... Now it's gonna skip him and go to Peter. Who's Isaac? <laughs> Isaac? Palmer? Tech support? Wasn't he dead already? No. No, Dennis. I mean, he says his name at the funeral, but... If we don't do something about it... Yeah, let's go murder people. And so now, it's kill or be killed. It was just time, you know? He got in the way and... No, you did, didn't you? You, didn't you? Hey, Peter, calm down. Did you or didn't you? Did you or didn't you? Yes. I think I did. I killed him. Why would you admit that right here, right now? No. Anyone could overhear you and then... Uh. He should have your death. And yep. you should have his ears. Yep. They mirror the order everyone died in on the bridge. Then who would be next? Who's what? <laughs> oh! Dennis. It's Dennis. Yeah. No shit. Now it's Peter. Now it's Peter. Okay. Oh my God. And coming through. Yeah, now he's gonna be super cautious of everything. Like now he's noticing every little danger inside the kitchen that he, normally he wouldn't really care about before. Oh my god, bro! No, that really. Ugly, huh? Yeah, that really could have killed someone right there. He unplugged the wrong one, huh? Oh. <laughs> so how's your French? <laughs> terrible. Oh, good. Well, then we can be terrible together. We. Oui. Uh, Je m'appelle Matthew. You okay, man? You look a little, uh... Insane. Peter, it's good that you're here. You shouldn't be alone right now. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised I'm here at all. He's, he's gonna try and kill Molly. About if I could really do it. Yeah, I could. So, I, w I went on a walk. No, he didn't already do it, huh? He's gonna jail, dog. I couldn't kill somebody that didn't deserve to die. And I thought about Candace, and I thought... Wait oh. a minute. <laughs> Well, she didn't deserve to die. Candace didn't deserve to die. Why is it that you deserve to live, Molly? You don't. Oh! You know, I like where they're taking his character, though. It's all, it's different. He's like going insane over the fact that he he can he can break the curse on himself. 
<laughs> Something Sam set up earlier is gonna kill Peter. I don't, I don't, I have no idea what it's called, but it kind of looked like a fork. He was setting it up with a glass right before, right when he was talking to the chef. Oh. It's Peter. He has a gun. Oh, yep. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> he got the agent. You killed him. Well, Molly's a witness, so you kind of have to kill her too now. Sam, well, you didn't have to kill Sam because he was going to die anyway, because it's his turn. But you just witnessed the murder of a federal agent. Yeah. And I'm not going to spend the life I just earned in prison. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, even if like you did kill someone, you'd ha you still would have to get away with it. Or you're just going to go to prison for the rest of your life. No! That gun's just going to fire and watch. Peter's going to die anyway. Well, actually, no, Sam's going to kill Peter. And then since Peter just got a new life... Basically, Sam's gonna get a new life now, so. And then Sam and Molly are gonna live happily ever after in Paris. But if this gun on the stove kills Peter, then that's just death killing him, and it doesn't count for Sam, because Sam's gonna do it. Oh, no, if it was Sam, never mind. Well, Sam just got Peter's life, which he, Peter, had just earned technically, so Sam should be good now. He should be good. What's the gun gonna do now? Kill Sam now? That'd be kind of shitty. So does that mean I get Block's life? Mm hmm. Oh. oh. Oh, then I missed him. Okay. Okay. Does that just confirmed it? Yes, I do. Sick. Now we're gonna live happily ever after. Unless they're gonna be in Paris and then some sign's just gonna take him out like it did the uh, Carter in the first movie. <laughs> Wait, you know it'd be a crazy twist. They're on a plane right now. What if they were on the plane with Alex right now? <gasps> that would be that would be such a mind fuck. No fucking way, dude, on, fuck man. off, no, 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 fuck no, no, no. off. I literally just threw that out there. What? That's why they never heard anything prior. Oh, so they fucking got, oh my. I only said that because they were going to Paris and that's where Alex and all of them were going to Paris too. Oh my fucking God. I can't believe I just called that. Holy shit. And it was raining too. Yeah. Flight 180. Damn, well, I'm happy they never mentioned the year prior to this, so you know. Mm, John Denver. Oh, you just realized. <laughs> you know, the fact that you saw Alex, someone else freaking out on the plane, or you just experienced that earlier in the movie, dog. Like, you should have known what was good, and you should have got off yourself. No. <laughs> Damn, that's so sad. No happily ever after then. <laughs> I got you! No, you don't. No! No! Uh, oh. oh, at least she didn't fall to her death, I guess. No! You know, it is pretty sick to see the first premonition from a different POV. Is Nathan about to just get clapped right here or something? Don't do him like that. There's a reason why we come back to Nathan. Hard blood vessel in his brain so big, he's about to burst. They said he'd be dead any day now. He was gonna die anyway. Any day. Is that John Denver in the background? Life's a bitch. Oh no. <laughs> Fucking plane crap. Wow. <laughs> I was thinking like, how is he about to how is he about to die then? But like, nah, the fucking plane crashed into him. All right, well, that was Final Destination 5. That was a pretty crazy twist at the end where they happened to just be on Flight 180. Thank God they didn't mention the year at all in the movie or anything. That would have been a dead giveaway as soon as they got on the plane. But yeah, like I saw it was raining and I was like, okay. But once they were on the plane, I was like, this does look kind of familiar. And they were going to Paris too. So I just threw it out there as like a guess, you know, like, oh, that would be crazy. And it ended up happening. It ended up being true. That's insane. A lot of times I have a thought like that and then I just end up don't saying it and it ends up being true. But this time I was like, nah, like I, I thought about it for like a second and I was like, nah, but then I was like, no, just say it, just say it just in case. And it was true. <laughs> Overall, I would say this, I would say this is probably my favorite Final Destination movie. I would, yeah, I would say it's my favorite. I just felt like this had the best combination of everything, had a great combination of deaths, had a great combination of likable characters, had a great opening scene. I really enjoyed it in that aspect. I like how Peter went crazy in it because that, that's different. A character hasn't gone insane, like knowing they're going to die and then knowing they can do something about it, but they have to kill someone else and then like them fighting that battle. Like there hasn't been a character who has done that yet. And so that was a new twist on it, which I really liked. But yeah, that was Final Destination 5. Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. If you like the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.